Hey Hobby and Ollie, I am John Steele, the other half of Team Steele San Diego Homes. I know you guys have spoken with Melissa, um, but I'm going to be handling the virtual showings for you guys. So I am standing outside of the home on Morningside Street. Um, so I'm going to start outside. Uh, with these 360 videos, this is a cool camera, so as I go around I'm going to kind of stop in the middle of each room. Um, that way you guys can take your time and you know, scroll around and look at the stuff you want to look at. Um, you should be able to, if you're looking on your phone, either move your phone around to look or um, click and drag the screen um, with your finger or your mouse if you're on a computer. Um, so again, I'm out front. Um, this particular home is a three bedroom, two bath home, 1436 square feet, and it's priced at 520. Um, we are in the Paradise Hills neighborhood of San Diego, um, which I would say is a neighborhood that's transitioning but showing a lot of positive changes. I personally think there's a lot of potential in this neighborhood and I personally think that this area is going to continue to grow. Um, so starting outside and as I go through, I'm just going to kind of point out some things that stand out to me, positive, negative, things that I think you should just be aware of. Um, so right away, uh, there is a multi-unit next door, so just want you guys to be um, conscious of that. And then. I also noticed the home across the street does look like it could use some work. Uh, this one here with the car parked in the front yard. Um, other than that, the homes do look you know, pretty nice and well maintained. Um, street is relatively quiet. So I'll move in. They did a great job with the landscaping. Um, and then you do have a uh, long driveway here. So you could park a lot of cars here. This is a gate, so this does open, um, and then the garage is in the back. So I'll move to the front. This one is fully remodeled too, so everything you're seeing is you know, pretty much redone. Let's close this behind me. Okay, so yeah, I'll go kind of to the middle of the room, and this should help give you a pretty good idea of the size of the space. So we have a nice fireplace over here, it looks to be wood burning. Um, all new windows. Definitely like the tile that they chose with the fireplace, really trendy. Um, but pretty, pretty good sized living area. Um, and something I didn't catch, or I didn't point out right as we came in, there is a coat closet over there. Um, not something you find super often in San Diego, um, just with the weather that we have, we don't use coats a lot, but it is nice when you have that sometimes. Um, I'm going to now work my way over to the sleeping area of the house first. So off of the living space is this hallway. To my right, we have our first bedroom. So I'll go here. Again, I'm kind of right in the middle. This is a pretty good sized room actually. Um, it lists the master bedroom as 16 by 13, the second bedroom is 16 by 13, and the third bedroom as 12 by 12. Um, so this is definitely, this is a good size room by San Diego standards for sure. Now we're in the hall bathroom. So it looks like they did a pretty good job with the tile work. You have a nice, uh, large um, vanity with the two sinks, plenty of counter space, lots of storage. Let's see if they did, they did do the soft close. So that's nice. And they went with some of the trendier finishes with the, the mirrors and the um, lights. Okay. Now we're moving into, this is bedroom number two. Um, and I guess this is the 12 by 12 one. It's a little bit smaller than the first one I showed you. Um, but again, I would say this is a pretty good sized room for San Diego. Um, oftentimes, you know, the master is honestly this size. So definitely bigger bedrooms than typical, which is nice. Um, it also has a nice layout that I like where um, all of the sleeping quarters are on one side of the home and then you have all the kind of living and kitchen space on the other. You also have some storage here. 
And then this is the master bedroom. So I'll stand here in the middle. And they're listing this as 16 by 13. So we actually have two closets on either side of me. This one on my right over here is quite large. Um, and I'll peek my head in there. Um, but again, you have a full size closet here. So a lot of storage. And then you have a nice slider to the back, uh, which is really nice. And let me just open this up just so you guys can see really how large this closet is. I'll kind of stick it in. So now I'm heading into the master bathroom. Um, so we've got a large uh, shower. Um, there is two shower heads. So we have the typical normal one and then there's a rain shower head. Um, and a nice, pretty good sized shelf um, to keep things on. And then similar to the hall bathroom, kind of same finishes. A little bit of a smaller vanity, not as much counter space, but you still do have the two sinks, which is nice. And then something that I personally find is really nice um, when you're kind of sharing a bathroom is having the toilet separate from the rest. Um, so it can be you know, closed off, and then you, that way you can have multiple people you know, in here doing their thing, um, and you don't have to you know, jockey it as much, get in and out. So that's a nice feature. Um, I am going to go around the kitchen and work out that way. So, okay, perfect. So we have, this is set up as a little dining area right here. Um, I don't know if this is, you know, staged the best. This might be a little bit cramped to have a dining space right here. Um, but you do have plenty of room. Like you could, you know, rework this a little bit if you didn't like having your table right here. Um, as far as the kitchen, lots of cabinets. Um, you can see you have some cabinets over here and then all the way down um, you've got cabinets. And again, they went with some of the trendier finishes with the matte black um, and the countertop. Uh, we actually have that exact same faucet that we just put in our new unit. Um, so they're definitely going with some trendy finishes. Um, and there's a pretty good amount of space too here. Sometimes they can feel really tight, um, but this is a good, you know, I would say three feet plus. Um, so it doesn't feel too cramped. Um, you can definitely open, you know, the stove and stuff and not have things banging into each other and still have room to get around and not have it completely closed off. Um, this is another area, you know, this could be maybe more of a, of a dining or breakfast nook. Um, they do have this light above here, so it's kind of set up for that. Um, and then I'll make my way out the back. Um, and let me just double check. I think I just need the keys for the garage. Yep, one second. And this is a good size lot too, I'm realizing. This is a uh, 7,200 square foot lot, so quite a good size. Um, I know that uh, one of the things that Melissa and I discussed that you guys are very interested in is value add opportunities. Um, she mentioned that you guys were very interested in our particular project that we did on our personal home. Um, looking at this, seeing that detached garage, you know, I look at that and that seems to me like something that you could very easily probably convert to an accessory dwelling unit or a second unit. Like I said, there are multiple uh, multi-units around here um, in a few different places. So that gives me a pretty good um, you know, indication that you should be able to do a second unit here. Um, it looks like this is utilities. So actually washer dryer. So that's actually really nice that they have that kind of right off the back. And um, this right here, this is the master bedroom. So you have this kind of covered pergola right off the master bedroom, which is super nice. And a really good sized yard, again, with plenty of parking if you didn't want to use that garage. And then lastly, I'm just going to see if I can get in here. Nice garage. So they 
actually did uh, the nice floors. Um, even got newer window there. Definitely a good size. You could for sure turn this into a one bedroom, no problem, maybe even more. Just lock this. And then let me just peek around back here. Great. So yeah, really good size lot. Um, newly remodeled home. I, I like the finishes that they chose. Very trendy. It looks like they did a pretty good job with things, um, at least from what I can see on the surface. Um, I'll kind of give you a view of this whole long driveway. So yeah, you can realistically, I mean, you're talking how many are they advertising that you can park four in the driveway. Realistically, you could probably park even more than that. Um, so lots of parking. Again, the street's pretty quiet. Haven't been too many cars driving by. So yes, that was the full tour. This again, this is the Morningside Street property, uh, currently listed at 520,000 in the Paradise Hills neighborhood, and again, it's just a bit under 1,500 square feet at 1436. And yeah, honestly, I think this is a, a very solid home. Um, I actually we showed this property yesterday to a different client. So um, cool property. Let us know if you have any questions, and I will be off to the next showing.